very quickly to understand about trauma is the only way through it is through. You can't go over it or under it or around it. You have to go through it. Katie Hutchison spent the day at Hopkinton Middle School and talked about a personal experience that tragically impacted her family. Had an amazing busy day filled with um, incredibly empathetic, curious and bright uh, children. I spoke to the grades six, sevens and eights, um, each class individually, and shared a, a very difficult personal story that they they heard with, um, I like to say, hearts wide open. They were um, an amazingly respectful audience who asked intelligent questions and I think came away um, feeling very um, empowered to uh, be a community uh, within their school. It was beautiful. During the evening session, Katie told the tragic story of the murder of her husband Bob and the impact it had on her family and what could be learned from it. Children that should have been waking up on the first day of the year and pulling something out from under the Christmas tree to play with or going outside and building a snowman. And instead, I was sitting them down side by side and crouching down to their level and finding the plainest words I could to explain something horrible had happened and that their daddy was dead. Uh, the p presentation tonight concentrated on really sharing the same story with parents so that we could start some positive dinner time conversations around social responsibility. Um, the difference between tonight's presentation and, and the way I spoke to the kids uh, were around some issues, um, parenting issues, um, to do with supporting parents to make good choices in boundary setting and um, doing the best job they can at uh, preventing similar tragedies uh, to the tragedy that I faced um, uh, that brought me here to share my story. Katie's husband, Bob, was murdered trying to break up a neighbor's house party by a man named Ryan Eldridge. That institution was nothing short of a hellhole. People that worked there told me that Ryan was going to stand about a 50% chance of coming out a hepatitis infected heroin addict, even though that's not the way he went into jail. And I was determined that that was not going to happen. We've had enough waste, enough loss in this story to last everyone's lifetime. If Bob had had an opportunity to live the life that he was supposed to have lived, he would have made such a remarkable contribution to my family, to our community, and probably beyond. But Bob doesn't get that chance. And there is nothing that I can do to change that fact. So I can't think of a more fitting legacy than for Ryan to do something positive and powerful with his own life like get out of jail and get a job. If you meet somebody and they decide they want to bring children into this world, that those babies are born into a home that is safe and loving and free of substance use and free of violence, that would be enough because it would mean that we had truly broken the cycle. The program, sponsored by the Hopkinton Education Foundation, was meant to show the importance of making positive choices responsibility, forgiveness, and communication. I've been speaking publicly for the last 13 years. I've visited over 500 um, schools around the world um, sharing my story. I've written about my story. I've, um, the story was made into a movie uh, for Lifetime Network. So it's been, um, it's been a, an accidental career, I often call it, but a very rewarding one. Um, the opportunity to meet communities who want to look at a better way of um, handling harm and a more restorative approach to, to conflict management. Forgiveness was not about letting Ryan off a hook, believe me. It was not about making him any less accountable for the horrific crime that he committed. But forgiveness was my way of saying, I deserve this life. I am choosing to move forward in a healthy and positive way for my children, for my family, for my community.